Hello again. We have all of us been so indoctrinated about the subject of racism that we seldom stop and ask ourselves if such a thing really is preventing, holding back or suppressing the achievements of black people. I say specifically black people because other racial groups do not seem to be disadvantaged by their ethnicity. Gujarati Hindus of Indian origin, for instance, earn more, are better qualified and tend to have more successful careers than white people in Britain. In America, there are more Hindu millionaires than there are Jewish ones. Chinese people do not seem to be hindered either by belonging to an ethnic minority. They too have higher incomes than white people as a rule. It is black people upon whom all this supposed racial prejudice is inflicted who are uniquely disadvantaged by the colour of their skin. Let's conduct a little thought experiment. I mentioned yesterday that an African-American YouTuber is convinced that he cannot find a publisher for his books because he says the publishing industry is controlled by women, white women, and homosexuals, neither of whom wish to publish books by black men. So this is a case where black men are at a disadvantage and racism is preventing them from becoming published authors. Let's imagine how this might work if true. A black man who is a professor of physics writes a book about quantum theory and then submits a synopsis of the book to a publisher. Do any viewers seriously imagine that the first thing that the publisher would do is to try and find out what colour is the skin of the person who has written the book? Do they do this with all books? Does it work against Chinese people and Indians as well? I ask this because it is common to see academic books published by mainstream companies and written by Indian people and Chinese authors. Is it only black people that publishers have a grudge against? Of course, if somebody pitches a proposal for a book on quantum theory, the first question the publisher would ask would be, what are this person's qualifications for writing about this subject? Is he a professor at a famous university? Has he had articles published in academic journals on this subject? Now, I've had many books published and I've written for a lot of magazines and newspapers but and I'm white which apparently is a great advantage but if I tried to get a publisher to take a book I had written on physics there would be absolutely no chance at all of it being accepted because I have no background in the subject they wouldn't say oh he's white let's give him a contract they would say what this is experience of physics what is his background why should we commission a book by this fellow suppose the publisher liked a proposal which they received and then found out that the author was actually black does anybody really think this would be a deal breaker and make them change their mind and that even though the man writing it was an expert in his field they would reject the book because he was black as soon as they found out that's quite mad. But wait, I can hear an objection already. There are very few professors of physics or chemistry who are black and a lot who are Chinese, Indian or white. Doesn't that give black people a disadvantage because they won't have a strong academic background? Is there a conspiracy to keep black people out of good colleges and universities? Here's another thought experiment. If two people are applying for a place to study physics at Cambridge University in Britain or the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in America, and one is a black man with top marks at A-levels or the Scholastic Aptitude Test, do viewers really think that these universities would turn the black person down for a place and give it to a less highly qualified Chinese or white person? Why would they do that? More to the point, is there any evidence that this has happened? We would be better engaged in asking why it is that black school leavers do not apply to study science subjects at university. 
why they only gain a third as many A levels at top schools in England as Chinese people, and things like that. This might give us a clue as to why they are not well represented in certain academic areas, and therefore unlikely for publishers to be willing to accept books in those areas written by them. For more general books, moving away from the academic field, it helps when submitting a proposal if you can demonstrate some ability in getting published previously, say by writing for magazines and newspapers. That's how I got my first book published, by spending a few years getting stuff into magazines and then mentioning it uh, when I sent the proposal for the book as part of my background, explaining that I wrote regularly for various newspapers and magazines. That's what impresses publishers. So maybe we should look at why so few black people are getting freelance stuff published in this way. Are they less likely to be doing this than white people? Skin colour really doesn't count in this area. It's all done by email and nobody in a magazine or newspaper office would bother to Google the name of the freelance contributor simply to find out if the person was black. In short, I can see many reasons why black people fail to get on in this particular field, that of writing books and of writing money and writing generally for money. But none of it has anything to do with racism. This is a field which I know about, but I think it very likely that the same applies to other areas. As it's not racism holding back black people but rather that they tend to have other interests and don't put in the legwork necessary to get on, whereas many white people and Chinese people do so and then get on in whatever area it is they've chosen.